Well, tomorrow, April 27th, pancreatic cancer survivors, researchers, and supporters will walk together at nearly 60 locations across the nation to honor everyone affected by the disease. Yeah, those participating in the Purple Stride Walk will help raise money to support patients and their families all across our community. And here to tell us more about PanCan's Purple Stride event, we have cancer survivor and activist uh, Eric Borden. Thank you so much for joining us Thank here today. Thank you for today. having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, so Eric, good to have you uh, here again, <laughs> Eric. You know, tell us, a little, tell us a little bit about for people who haven't heard of PanCan, what it is that you guys do. PanCan is a multifaceted organization uh, supporting pancreatic cancer patients, uh, their caregivers, and also supporting research and providing those much needed patient services that, uh, that are required by pancreatic cancer survivors, like myself. Mm -hmm. So uh, they've been around for many, many years and uh, they fund much needed research and like I said, uh, provide patient services for, for uh, uh, pancreatic, pa pancreatic cancer patients and also uh, lobby the government for funding, for government funding for pancreatic cancer research. So again, they're a multifaceted organization nationwide. Um, as you mentioned uh, before, we're going to have 60 locations across the country uh, participating in, in Purple Stride events to raise money and fundraise for those services that are so badly needed. Mm. Yet, of course, you know, the fundraising is one aspect of it, but also to raise awareness as a survivor yourself. What right. do you think is really important for people at home when it comes to being familiar with the symptoms or what to look out for? Yeah, the symptoms are really, uh, it's kind of an interesting quagmire because most of the cases, unfortunately, are diagnosed at late stage because the symptoms are masked by other diseases. Um, jaundice, uh, uh, severe weight loss, uh, which is unexplained. Uh, severe back pain, onset diabetes, and there's a list of others which uh, people can go to uh, pancan.org and find out what those symptoms are. Um, so it's really important that uh, the medical community understand that as well, that it's not just a stomach ache, uh, you know, pancreatic issues should really be considered when any of those symptoms are present just as uh, j just occurring real, real quickly without any explanation. Mm -hmm. Are there predispositions or, or risky behaviors that can sometimes lead to pancreatic cancer? Well, like with anything, uh, you know, any type of cancer, smoking is, is one of them. Uh, you know, watching your diet, I mean, going crazy. Over, uh, obesity, you know, being overweight mm -hmm. is, is another one. Uh, and also genetics, uh, that's, that's a factor as well. So anybody who, is, uh, who has family members that are BRCA positive, for example, it would behoove them to get, uh, get genetic testing mm -hmm. Uh, to see if they are also BRCA positive because that's, that's uh, uh, something to watch out for for potential pancreatic cancer. All right, good to know. Before we send it off to break, we uh, want to know when and where this event for folks at home okay. is going to come. The event <laughs> tomorrow, the big <laughs> big time. Uh, it's at Bird Aronson South County Park in nice. Boca Raton. It's right off Glades Road. Uh, registration begins at 7 o'clock. The opening ceremonies are at 8 o'clock. We welcome everybody to come and join us uh, to help raise awareness, raise uh, funds for uh, all of the activities that I mentioned before. We're going to have a kids area too, so it's really kid friendly, and we'd love to have everybody join us uh, at uh, Bert Aronson South County Park in Boca. Join us, have fun, raise awareness for pancreatic cancer. You get all the uh, information right there. It's going to be a beautiful day for it. And a beautiful day. Thank you, weather people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Eric, so good to see you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, guys. Thanks all so right, much. Right. We have more CBS 12 News at 9 coming up after this.